永望 24.5 度で運転を開始します。Hey, what's up? This is DTJ with another video for you. Like and subscribe for more videos on how to survive and live here in Japan. Today, I will be talking about heaters and air conditioners in Japan. I am going to go over the kanji symbols for all the buttons, modes, etc., so that you have a better understanding on how to operate your unit, making your stay a lot more pleasurable. I'll also make a video on how to clean these units later. And keep them bacteria free so that you aren't breathing in mold all year round. All right, let's get into it. First off, these units are usually wall mounted and can cost anywhere from 60,000 yen to about Sanjumana 300,000 yen, roughly 2,700 US dollars. This depends on the area of coverage that it supports, which is based on tatami mat size. So, a、uh, six tatami mat is the traditional size for a tatami mat room. So, a heater that can warm up that room is going to be around 60,000 yen. Then, you have your eight tatami mat units, your nine tatami mat units, so on and so forth. I've even seen 20 tatami mat sized heating and cooling units, and those usually cost around, like I said, Sanjuman, and even more if it talks to you, like one of mine does. So, here is one of my units at home. I think this one was an eight tatami mat unit. Another important thing to know if you're going to purchase one of these, you must, you know, I'll say it again. You must measure the area it will go in before you look at units to ensure that it will fit in the space. So, if you have a space on your wall that is wide open, meaning there are no windows in the way or lights or anything like that, it'll stop it from fitting in its new area, then you should be good to go. But if you have a window with curtain rails in the way, you might want to measure so you don't waste your time and or money because the guy that comes to your house to install it won't be able to. If it doesn't fit, then you'll have to go and get a refund and try to get a smaller size unit. I'm speaking from experience. <laughs> so, yeah, standing in front of one, they all might look the same width wise, but they're not. They're very、uh, misleading. So, this is a remote for it. This is a Fujitsu unit, but it doesn't really matter if it's Fujitsu, Sanyo, or Mitsubishi. Kanji is kanji, so the basic functions have the same kanji. Yes, some controllers may have some special modes, but at their core, they operate the same. You are good to go with that. So, our first button is for the air conditioner. Next is the heater. This button is for the dehumidifier. If you hit it once, it'll go to Hikaime or low power. Hit it again, regular power. This purple button is the automatic button. Next, we have the Oyasumi or Goodnight button. It'll turn the unit off after a specified timer expires. You hit it enough times, and it'll increase from 30 minutes to 6 hours or 7 hours. Okay, our next button is going to control the force of the air output, basically. We can hit it multiple times to make it weaker or stronger. This next one is my favorite button the fan mode. I like it because it comes in handy when you just want to get some air circulating around you, but you can't really open your windows for whatever reason, and you really don't want to turn on the AC. Kids are making too much noise, you know, the neighbors smoke, raining heavily outside, etc. And you can go back to the button next to it to control the output. Next, we have high power. <laughs> yeah, just like it sounds, high power. Swing, it'll make the fins of the unit swing to and fro automatically. To and fro. This next button controls the pitch of the blades. You can hit it multiple times until you get them facing up or down at the angle that you want. Next is the same thing, but from left to right. This button is the sanitize button. It'll heat up inside in an attempt to kill bacteria and such, but I will show you how to go about cleaning these things in another video. With this timer button, you can specify when to turn the device on or off. So, this comes in handy when you want to wake up and the main room in the house may be cold. You want it to be warm by the time your family members or you get up to start the day so they can eat breakfast and so on and not be in a cold room while they're doing it. This is the menu button. 
If you're not good with kanji, you won't even need to be messing around with this. <laughs> this is the cancel button. This is the submit button or confirm button. As you can see on my other remote, you can see some of these modes are the same. As I mentioned before, they have the same modes. Here's the air conditioner, heater, and dehumidifier on this one. So now you know how to operate the unit in front of you. Your remote may not look the same, but when you match your device with the kind you see here, then you will know what the operation is for. I'm DTJ. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. DT out.